make it responsive. Be sure to use the right responsive definitions that match your needs. Our number one recommendation is to use auto layout. This can be translated into nice, clean, flex properties in the code. Use auto layout to define the responsive behavior when the screen size is changing, like here. Adding auto layout to your design allows you to create dynamic frames that will automatically resize to maintain the layout structure you've established according to the added content. Auto layout is great for setting up the layout within cards, for example, as well as the layout of the cards themselves relative to the main frame. We recommend using auto layout whenever relevant, especially between breakpoints. There's no need to revert to constraints because auto layout covers constraints and adds a lot more functionality as well. If you need to swap UI elements between screen sizes, you can also use Anima's breakpoints feature. Check out this menu panel, for example, which changes into a hamburger menu for the mobile display. Since the tablet version has all the same UI elements as desktop, there's no need to create it as its own breakpoint. Auto layout is enough. Don't forget to A, add auto layout to the main frame and not just components within it, and B, Test your design's responsiveness by scaling your frames vertically and horizontally to make sure everything's working properly before syncing to Anima.